Hi, my name is Patricia Barini. I'm a product analyst for Remark Products, and I'd like to share a few tips and tricks with you on using learning objectives when grading tests. Learning objectives, sometimes called subtests, test a student's knowledge on a particular subset of questions. Would you like to be able to use learning objectives to measure student progress towards objectives such as state mandated standards? Remark Quick Stats allows you to add learning objectives using the Grade Wizard. Here's how it works. Suppose you had an exam with 30 questions on it and that questions 1 through 10 concerned vocabulary, questions 11 through 20 tested punctuation, and the remaining questions tested reading comprehension. If you separated the exam questions into three learning objectives, you could measure how students mastered each skill set. Remark Quick Stats Grade Wizard allows you to grade the overall exam and also evaluate student performance on each of the subsets of questions. Using the Grade Wizard, you may create learning objectives and assign your choice of questions to each objective. Specific reports in Remark Quick Stats will provide scores on the entire test as well as scores for the individual learning objectives. You may also assign benchmark values to your learning objectives to measure mastery. You may add learning objectives on the fly or import them from an existing database, and we'll see how to do both of those. Let's look at the learning objectives we will import as they appear in an Excel database. And here's the database, and you can see that we have uh, a set of learning objectives. We have reading comprehension, prefixes and suffixes, vocabulary, and so on. When learning objectives are used, specific reports will show an overall test score as well as the student performance on the questions that apply to individual learning objectives. Let's take a look at some of the available reports that show learning objectives. And here are four that I want to call your attention to. The 101 Student Statistics Report. This is a class roster. It's the one in the, uh, the uppermost report over here. The 103 Class Frequency Report, which has a bold graphic. The 104 Test Statistics, which gives you test statistics for all of the uh, subtests as well as the overall. And the 301 Student Grade Report. That's this report, the one that the student would get. Now let's see how learning objectives are set up. And it'll take just a second here for the Remark Data Center to open. And in just a second, you'll see it appear. And here it is. This is the data set that we're going to be used for grading. Let's use the link in the task pane to open the grade wizard. If we had already created an answer key, we could browse to it and use it. There's a Browse button that we'll see in just a second. And here it is. If we click on this, we could go to any folder on our system and open an existing key. But we're going to cancel because we're going to make a new one instead. We're going to put a check in the box for this test contains one or more learning objectives. And then we're going to grab the key the correct answers for the test from grid row 1. We can use the link in the task pane to get to the screen for creating learning objectives. And I'm going to do one on the fly first, a couple of them. I'm going to just type in, I hope I can spell this correctly, vocabulary. When I click the Add button, you'll see that all the questions from my test appear in the left-hand window. And I can use, uh, I can select them one at a time and move them over to associate them with that, or I can hold the shift key down and select the whole number of them. I can also uh, basically hold the control key down and select some that aren't contiguous, and there they are. So if I add a new objective, and you can see now that I've got limited questions in the left-hand window, I'm going to add a new one. I'll call it spelling, and click the Add button. All the questions reappear on the left-hand window. And this is because in some situations, one question on the test may apply to more than one learning objective. So they're all available again for use. 
Now I can expand these or I can contract them. What I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to remove them from this window because we are going to import some learning objectives. And there we go. They are gone. Now I'm going to click the Import button. And this opens a window that will allow us to browse to where the database is located. And there it is. And I'll click OK to open it. Now, each objective in the database is visible and can be selected or not selected. If I click the button Select All, all of these are selected. So you can see the All button is the fastest way to import all the learning objectives if the database is specific to the test. I'm going to deselect them and just select a few of these. I'll select vocabulary, spelling, and maybe punctuation, and say OK. And you can now see that these are in the right-hand window ready to be assigned questions. So I'll start with punctuation, and I'm going to select the first 10 questions for punctuation and move them over to the right, and collapse that. And I'm going to select spelling now. I hope I spelled it right. I guess I did. And I'm going to select questions 8, just to show you some overlapping, to 21. Whoops, hold the shift key down, and move those over to the, to the right. And I'll collapse that one as well. And I'm going to highlight vocabulary, and I'll move questions 18 through 30 over to the right for vocabulary. We can assign each learning objective a benchmark to gauge mastery. And I'm going to check for each of these now the box for define benchmark value and type a benchmark value in there. I'm going to assign it 70%. And now I'll do the same for spelling. And I will collapse that and do the same for punctuation. I'm now going to go to the Grade Scales window. I want to show you two things here. This opens to show you the overall grade scale default, which is an A through F scale. I'm going to use that for my overall test. But I'm going to assign my learning objectives a different grade scale. We can assign a separate grading scale for these learning objectives. I'm going to select it from the drop-down list, which has all my options on it. And I'm going to use the mastery scale. You could use any one you want, or you could, your organization can create their own grade scale for these learning objectives. What I want to point out, though, is that all learning objectives will share one grade scale for learning objectives. You cannot have a grade scale for individual learning objectives that differs from other learning objectives. So now we're going to go to, we can actually click Finish, but I want to quickly go to the Review, where you can see, and I'll just slide this over, that if we scroll down, you can see that each question on the test clearly indicates which learning objectives were assigned to it. I'll click the Finish button. And what the software is asking is, would we like to save an answer key for later use? And I'm going to say yes. And then I'll call this um, reading skills and say save. I'll replace it with this new scale that I've made. And it tells me that the answer key was successfully saved. When we click OK, grading will occur. In just a moment, by the way, it's grading now in the background, we'll take a look at some of the reports that we can run. I'm going to click Display Reports to have a list show up of all the reports that are suitable for grading. Let's take a look at the reports which reflect our learning objectives. The 101 Student Statistics Report is the first one we'll look at. And this is a class roster report that shows all the students. And in a moment when it's done running, we'll be able to use the arrow on the toolbar to actually scroll through it. And you can see here's the, the learning object, objectives for punctuation. You can see some students did not master this. Here it is for spelling. And finally, for vocabulary. 
The next report we're going to look at is the 104 test statistics report. And the test statistics report shows standard statistics that evaluate the exam. You can see that it does that for the overall test as well as for the subtest, punctuation, spelling, and vocabulary. If you need a very bold graphic for distribution, you might want to choose the 103 class frequency distribution report. I'm going to scroll through this and you'll see that this depicts both the overall test and the learning objectives in a very bold graphic style. Then finally, I'm going to scroll down and choose the 301 student grade report. The first thing that appears for this report is what I'm going to call the picker window. And one of the things I want to point out with this report is that this is a resource intensive report. That's what this warning means at the bottom. Therefore, depending on how many rows of data you're grading and your system specifications, you may want to run this report in batches. And indeed, I'm just going to choose a few students so that this only takes a short amount of time to run. I move them over to the right using the arrow. And when I click OK, the report will run. This report shows, in the header, it shows the overall grade. And it also breaks it out by the learning objective and shows both a total score and a nice graph. This is the report that you would give to students. And I've, this is somewhat customizable, and I've chosen to display the actual exam image on the report. So let's review now. I'm just going to quickly go back to our PowerPoint. Just a second, it'll appear. You've seen now how to use learning objectives to measure student progress using the grade wizard. And you've observed how the test results can provide an overall test score and also results for the individual learning objectives. We hope this session will help you use Remark QuickStats learning objectives to better meet your organization's grading objectives. Here's our contact information. Please contact us to suggest additional tips for our tips and tricks series. Thank you very much.